Hi guys, in today's tutorial I would like to show you how you can build a 3x3 trapdoor door that completely opens when putting an input to this door. This might already look familiar to you because last week I did a tutorial on a super simple 3x3 trapdoor door which looks like a garage door but it doesn't open completely and it was a little bit annoying to me so I wanted to do a door that com opens completely just like this one. The redstone for this is a little bit more complicated than the redstone of the door that I did before as you can see in the direct comparison over here but still I think that this is a quite funny door so I wanted to make a tutorial out of this. To build this you will just need the materials that you can see in my hotbar and you can make this door also longer by extending it to the side up to 15 blocks and then it will look a little crazy and it just opens up a 15 wide and 3 high space. But now I think we should start by building up the 3 wide example. Of course you want to get things started with the 3x3 frame for your door and then you can get to the inside and put down 3 sticky pistons at the bottom here and 3 sticky pistons at the ceiling but one block elevated and those of course need to face down. Then we can use our trap doors, put 3 here and then 3 right here and 3 at the ceiling. It's important that you place those from the outside and those from the inside because if I just open those you can see that uh, it opens in the right direction. Then we want to have three redstone blocks here at the top. Those will update these trapdoors here so they stay in this position even if they don't have any redstone power. We get to that in just a moment. First let's uh, start with the wiring because that's all the stuff in place that we need. And we'll start here at the top with just the redstone line here which will just power up these trapdoors there. Therefore just put four redstone dust like this and then we can put some delay into this. I like to use six ticks on this because then it's in sync with those trapdoors down here. And uh, then we'll leave it like this for now and uh, take care of those three trapdoors. Those will of course get powered from the bottom through redstone torches and the redstone torches will get powered through repeaters which we'll put on two tick delay. Then connect those with a redstone line and this redstone line will simply get powered by a redstone torch. So this is already opened. Uh, um, as you can see here, if I unpower this again, also these pistons get powered, which is nice and convenient. And uh, then we want to give this an input, so we can already put the input for the machine here. We'll put a repeater on full delay into this redstone torch and then a redstone torch here to power it up so it stays closed in the default position. This can be your input block and for the input I always recommend to use a fade out that's way more convenient than any T flip flop uh, because it always re resets itself. So just put two comparators in this configuration to redstone dust and if we put an input to this like a button we can already see that it opens and it closes again. To wire up this top line here that's pretty simple to do we just take uh, three redstone torches and build a little torch tower here on top of our input block and then connect this up with some redstone and then those are closed and now we can take a look at uh, the opening as you can see this is now synchronized so th that's nice and convenient. All that's left to do is now to wire up this step here with the three trapdoors being updated by the pistons and therefore we can just put a line with redstone right here and uh, then we put something here that is called a falling edge detector. We start with a repeater on one tick here, repeater on two ticks here, repeater on three ticks here and connect this up with a uh, block. Then coming to the back here we put another repeater on full delay and then a sticky piston, a block. This is a rising edge detector and I think I made a little mistake. Yes, this doesn't need to be the repeater. The repeater will go right here after the sticky piston. So we get a four tick pulse into this redstone line and if I just simulate this now by uh, taking this away you can see one pulse and the other pulse when extending. And uh, this needs to be synchronized with those here because if I just power the door up now like this you can see that it already updates when going down but it won't update the trapdoors when going up. We need to retract the trapdoors in the moment that they are powered. And that's pretty simple to do. We can simply put in 
a redstone here and then a sticky piston do just the same thing that we did upstairs so also a photic repeater and then connect up this line this will give it a um, yeah one tick pulse once the power gets into this line so once this gets unpowered it gets another pulse and then it will look like this So that is the 3x3 door. If you want to make it wider, that's super simple. Simply extend the right side here. So extend the trapdoors and the sticky pistons and also the redstone blocks. And then the power that powers up those. So the redstone line here at the front, that redstone line here needs to be extended. And of course this redstone line with the repeaters and the redstone torches. So it looks somewhat like this. The rest of the redstone can stay the same because that will already power up the redstone lines in the right timings. But I think that that wraps things up for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day.